If you are looking to lose weight, then look no further. You are in the right place. I got you. Woo! Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy and I'm gonna show you how to lose weight by eating oatmeal today. Why should you listen to me? Well, let me show you some of my clients. The before and after, and these guys are eating plenty of oatmeal. If you are looking to lose weight and you need a personal touch, you need personal interaction, you need me, you need a mindset coach, you need a nutrition coach, then click the link in the down bar. It says apply to work with me. Click that, fill it out. We're gonna get on a call and we're gonna get this thing going for you. And if you fill it out right now, we could be doing this as early as tomorrow. So click that link. Now let's get into oatmeal and weight loss. If you haven't already seen my video where I'm talking about why oatmeal is one of the best weight loss foods, then make sure you check that one out. This is what the thumbnail looks like. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you three recipes that are going to get you well on your way to losing weight while eating oatmeal. As you can see behind me, I have my oats ready to go. And then I have some other ingredients that we're going to be talking about because we're not just going to have oatmeal, but we're also going to sneak some other things into the mixture here. Now, while oatmeal is a fantastic weight loss food, the best food for weight loss really is vegetables. And one of the things that's the biggest struggle for my clients is eating vegetables in the morning, especially if you grew up in the United States. Breakfast food is usually associated with uber sweet things like pancakes and waffles and maple syrup and toast with cinnamon and sugar. At least that's what I had growing up. And so when you are looking to lose weight and now you need to start eating loads of vegetables, what's going to happen in the morning? Well, I got you covered. First, we're going to be looking at this riced cauliflower. This stuff is the bomb if you're looking to lose weight. Not because you shouldn't be eating rice, but because of what I'm about to show you. I got this at Trader Joe's. It was $1.99 and the only ingredients are cauliflower and then there's a little bit of salt in there. Don't worry about the salt. Salt is totally fine if you're looking to lose weight. And I know people get very caught up on this, but if you're a client of mine, you're allowed to have salt. So we're gonna take this riced cauliflower and I'm going to put this in the microwave so that it will cook all the way through. And I know this is an oatmeal video. So what the heck are we doing with rice cauliflower? Well, this is one of the biggest hacks that you need to know if you're looking to lose weight and you like oatmeal. Cooking this is super easy. It says in the directions that all you have to do is put it in the microwave and cook it for about three to four minutes, uncover it in a bowl. So let's do that. I'm just going to measure this out, not because I'm counting calories or measuring or anything like that, but because I want to make sure that my oatmeal is not too cauliflower-y. So I'm measuring out about a half of a cup of this and I'm going to put it in the microwave. All right, so now I have my oatmeal and that is cooked all the way through. A pro tip here, what you can do if you are looking to save time or if you're very busy in the mornings, cook this entire thing and then put it into a container that you can just cook in the fridge. I am just doing a single serve right now, so I'm just doing a little bit, but if you are looking to save time, then cook the entire thing of rice cauliflower and then put it in the fridge so that you can use it throughout the week. So the cauliflower needs to be cooked for the next step. And the next step is going to be to make some oatmeal, but I'm not gonna cook it all the way through. So I'm going to take a half a cup of oats. You can take however much you like. You can do a full cup. And then I'm gonna mix in one cup of water. Adding in one cup of water. And then I'm just going to mix this up. And normally this would go into the microwave for three minutes, but because we're gonna do this little cauliflower hack, we're not gonna put it in for three minutes. We're gonna put it in for two minutes. Now, while this is in the microwave, we are going to prepare our toppings. I personally top all of my oatmeal with banana and cinnamon, but you can use whatever fruit you like. All fruit is game here. There is no bad fruit when it comes to weight loss. So choose the fruit that is best for you. I have some apples. I'm gonna show you what apples look like on top of oatmeal, as if you don't already know. And I'm gonna put some mashed banana on there too, as well as some cinnamon. So let me get that stuff out. Okay, so the oatmeal just finished its first two minutes. We're going to add in the cauliflower. So I'm just going to add the cauliflower in. And then we're going to mix it in there. All right, and then we're going to put this back in the microwave for another minute. While that's cooking, I'm going to prepare my toppings. So I have some banana in a bowl, and then I'm going to chop up an apple.
Got the best spice on earth, cinnamon. I'm gonna add that into the bowl. And I'm just going to mix this all together. So I have my mashed banana with my apples and cinnamon. And this is another thing where you could prepare this beforehand. If you're quite busy during the week, go ahead and prepare all of your toppings beforehand. And to keep it from turning brown, you can put some lemon juice on here. And I, I think what, what happens is it sort of ba it balances out the pH so that the, the apples don't end up turning brown. If you have kids and your kids don't like eating apples at lunchtime that you pack them because they've turned brown, squeeze some lemon juice on and it will prevent them from turning brown. All right, so I've got my mixture here. So for those of you wondering, I mean, why the heck did you mix cauliflower in with oatmeal? The reason why is because vegetables are extremely calorically dilute. That means that you can eat a large volume of them and it's pretty low in calories. So the more vegetables you can eat, naturally the less calories you're gonna eat, which is the goal if you're looking to lose weight. So by adding cauliflower into this, which is so low in calories, we're bulking up the volume while keeping the calories low so that you feel nice and full. So now we've got our oatmeal. The cauliflower disappears, I promise you. If you are having trouble getting in veggies, you've got to add cauliflower into your oatmeal. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this mixture, and guys, this is not cute, this is not pretty, but that's okay. The uglier your food is, probably the healthier you're gonna be. <laughs> so I just put this mixture on top, and again, it does not look cute. If you want it to look cute, what you can always do is transfer it into another bowl. So maybe I'll just make this my mixing bowl to mix this all together. If you need to, if you're just getting started on your weight loss journey and you need a little bit of a sweetener added on to here, feel free to put some maple syrup, some agave, some date syrup, some coconut sugar. If you need a little bit of that on the surface of your food, that is absolutely fine. So you know what? For aesthetic purposes, I'm gonna put this in another bowl so that it looks cuter. Oatmeal recipe number one is a cauliflower oatmeal. Now moving on to recipe number two, we are going to take a zucchini. And you might be thinking, Emmy, cauliflower, now zucchini, you're crazy. But I didn't eat on the first time around, right? Zucchini is another fantastic thing to sneak into your oatmeal if you're looking to get veggies in and you are not the veggie queen, you're about to be. So what I actually love about zucchini is that it's a dark green vegetable and dark green vegetables contain, I, I feel so crazy, you know, like. I, I should put that down for a minute. Dark green vegetables contain thylakoids and thylakoids shut off the hunger signal. So you're not gonna be as hungry throughout the rest of the day and you're gonna feel quite satisfied after having this. So what I'm gonna do here is if you have a grater, you can grate up the zucchini. I don't have a grater, but I do have a hand blender. So I'm gonna chop up the zucchini and I'm gonna put it into the blender. I'm just taking my hand blender. I've actually never used this. It's working! We're gonna do the same thing that we did with the cauliflower. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave to cook it a little bit. I'm gonna cook it for about three minutes before we end up doing the same thing we did with the cauliflower. All right, the cauliflower has been cooked, so now I'm gonna take the oats and I'm going to make oatmeal almost all the way, but I'm not going to cook it all the way through because I'm gonna have to add in the zucchini. Oatmeal is ready. Well, not yet because we haven't put the zucchini in, but we're gonna take our zucchini, same thing that we did with the cauliflower, just adding it right in there and mixing it up. Don't be freaked out that your oatmeal is green. This is normal. All right, and we're gonna throw it in the microwave for another minute. Yay, now we just need to add on some toppings. And like I said before, if you prepare this at the beginning of the week, you prepare your toppings at the beginning of the week, you have to do next to nothing when it's time to have the meal. So I'm gonna add on my toppings here and then mix it all up. Second, weight loss friendly oatmeal. It is amazing that you can squeeze in these veggies and I promise you, you cannot taste the zucchini that is in here. All you can taste is the goodness of the mashed banana, the cinnamon, the apples, and the oats themselves. You're gonna feel super full, super satisfied, and you're not going to be hungry for quite a while afterward. Now moving on to recipe number three, we're gonna start out by just making a straight up bowl of oats. Plain Jane, honey. Alrighty, the oatmeal is ready for us. And now we are going to take the hidden gem when it comes to weight loss, which is 
salsa. And I know people say salsa is so high in salt, but you know what else? It's high in vegetables. This is just a delicious form of vegetables, really. So the last two oatmeal recipes that I showed you both had vegetables in them. And so does this one because salsa is, it, that's vegetables. So we're going to take our salsa and we're gonna add it into the oats. And I know you're thinking, well, what the heck? Salsa with oatmeal? But yeah, it's called savory oatmeal and people love it. So we put the salsa in there and then I'm gonna take some nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast has a cheesy flavor. And when it is added, you know, when it's liquefied, so to speak, it really becomes like a nice, almost a hollandaise sauce of types. So we're gonna sprinkle on some nutritional yeast and I am just eyeballing this. So don't feel like you have to do this perfectly and we're gonna mix it all up and then for toppings it really is you know it's it's completely up to you if you want to add in some diced red onion if you want to add in some beans black beans would be delicious some cilantro some bell peppers but this is a great base for savory oatmeal you could do a side of onions you could do a side of broccoli because this in and of itself is just so tasty so there we have recipe number three is the Mexican savory oats, let's call it. If you wanna get transformations like these and you wanna work with me personally, as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach, then please click the link in the down bar. I love you, honey, and I'll see you in my next one. Woo!